Welcome to the Safety Net, Austin Jazz Society at Monks. We're the John Blondell Quintet, but there have been some changes made. You may have noticed that John Blondell is not here, but uh, I am Michael Mordecai and subbing for John. John fell, hurt himself, uh, his elbow, his knee, his wrist, his leg, his head, his shoulder, his, his, his body. His pride. We have Bob Patton on the piano tonight. We got John Fremgen, John Blondell's keeper, on the bass. We got Mike Gordon on the drums tonight. And the real star of the show, uh, John has a knack for discovering talent, young talent. And he grabbed this guy at the uh, jam session and has turned him into a real star, Dr. Jim Rose. We're going to play for uh, you now a song that seems quite appropriate for COVID called Alone Together. Thank you. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for this amazing band out there. Put your hands together for yourselves. What a great group. That's Mike Mordecai on the trombone, Dr. Jim Rose on the trumpet, John Fremgen on the bass, Bob Patton on the piano, Mike Gordon on the drums. My name is Colin Shook. I am a jazz pianist here in Austin and the founder of Monks Jazz. We've been a pop-up listening room show uh, traveling around town to different uh, art galleries and coffee shops over East Austin. Coming up on four years, uh, September 23rd. Um, up until the pandemic hit, we did 95 um, listening room concerts at all these different spots, showcasing all kinds of different bands. And um, we did a few live streams there in May. It took a few months off, but uh, in May kind of caught onto the live stream tip. And um, really happy that the Jazz Society reached out to us to partner together for their project Safety Net. 
Um, if you don't know about Project Safety Net, these concerts, these Tuesday nights are all in support of Project Safety Net. They're at the end of March, uh, first week of April. Austin Jazz Society had uh, seeded a few thousand dollars in there and raised about $25,000 and sent, um, sent checks out to guys the first week of April there in the form of $500 checks to over like 20 something guys. And they've been sending out checks each month to help support all these different jazz musicians here in Austin through a very simple application. But each month they've been sending out these checks helping guys uh, and gals make ends meet. And um, to date they've raised $63,000. All of that money has gone straight into the pockets of local jazz musicians. So these concerts are very much fundraising for this effort. Uh, it's 100% tax deductible, and um, if you make a donation tonight, um, over $100, you will be recognized as a sponsor um, at our next show, which is the 8th, that's next Tuesday, featuring Dr. James Polk. It'll be his 80th birthday, so definitely don't miss that. Yeah. Same, same, same station, same time. Uh, he'll be here with the centerpiece, but thank you so much for the early sponsors tonight. Brent Burton, uh, Tamika Cunningham, Gary Feist, Fable Records, uh, Maria Thompson, and of course, the Austin Jazz Society. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're just joining us, please send it. Um, you know, you could share there on Facebook to your friends and family. Uh, if you're over on YouTube, definitely, or if you're on Facebook, come on over to YouTube. It's definitely more hi-fi. Put it on the big screen. Put it on the big speakers. Uh, subscribe to the Monk's Jazz channel there on YouTube if you want to see more of these. Um, and yeah, please just go to the AustinJazzSociety.org page, or you can go straight to the PayPal.me slash Austin Jazz Society to support this band and the Project Safety Net and all that we're doing here at Monks. But thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. What do you guys got next? Well, during these dark days of COVID, we thought we'd bring a little sunshine in and prove they're, to get on the sunny side of the street. On the sunny side of the street Don't you hear my bitter pan Is it have a sound of footstep Life could be so sweet uh, On the sunny side of the street Now I used to walk in the rain With those blues on parade Now I'm no longer afraid Red rubber, red rubber, red rubber, red rubber, red rubber, red rubber. The cross on over. If I never had a cent, I'd be rich as Donald Trump, a fella. Stormy Daniels on my knee on the sunny side of the
used to walk in the rain with those blue dawn parade. Now I'm no longer afraid. Cross on up. If I never had a cent, I'd be rich as Donald Trump a fellow. Don't be Daniel that money on the sunny. On the sunny. On the bright, 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 bright sunny side of the street. In El Capaso, that's El Camino Real. Stormy Daniels. All right. So, John Blundell. What can you say about John Blundell? <clears throat> We've all got our stories. We've all got our stories. He's, he's, been, uh, he's been mad at all of us from time to time. Has he been mad at you yet? Uh, it's coming. It's coming. John, uh, he found this trombone on the eBay, and he had to have it. He doesn't have enough holes in his head, so he had to have this trombone. He drove to Tyler, paid good money for this trombone. This is the trombone. I'm playing it tonight. It's for sale. <laughs> I got a lot, of a lot of his trombones are now for sale. We're having a sale. This is John Blondell's <laughs> Trombone Emporium. <laughs> It's like, if you want a trombone, come down to the shop right now. It's, it's a piano shop and trombone emporium. Trombones on sale at Colin Shook's Piano and Trombone Emporium on sale. And watches. Yeah. Watches, we got them. I got a grandfather clock. We're going to add to the, to the thing. Um, but uh, we love John. Uh, we've all got our stories. Uh, happy to be here uh, Playing for him. Hope he's watching. And uh, this, and this one is called "There Will Never Ever Be Another John Blondell." Thank God. <laughs> you got it. Yep. All right. Put the key up. Go. B flat, probably. Yes. What about the what did they say? How about the intro?
this next song. It's a very special occasion because our piano player, Bob, has decided to ask his wife to marry him again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the preacher out here next. All right, but this is a tune called Mary, and Bob wrote it for Mary.
for Mary. Now let's go get that preacher.
put your hands together once again for this fantastic group. Uh, if you're just joining us, my name's Colin Shook. I'm the founder here at Monk's Jazz, and we are doing these Tuesday night concerts in partnership with the Austin Jazz Society for their Project Safety Nets. <coughs> um, so far tonight, we've, uh, I just got to notice you uh, have put together $650. Thank you so much to the people who have donated tonight. If you donate $100 or more, again, everything is tax deductible. But, you know, if you want to donate 5 10 20 40 you know, 50 100 $200, $300, anything goes, um, we're very appreciative for this fund, uh, getting these guys paid um, and passing the rest back into the Project Safety Net. Thank you so much for the early sponsors tonight. Brent Burton, Tamika Cunningham, Gary Feist, Fable Records, Maria Thompson, and, of course, the Austin Jazz Society. Please go straight to the... Uh, paypal.me slash Austin Jazz Society if you want to donate. You can also go sh uh, to their page, austinjazzsociety.org. Uh, please sign up for the email list, monksjazz.com. Um, and uh, please tune in next week. We have Dr. James Polk and Centerpiece, uh, his six-piece band. It'll be his 80th birthday celebration. Um, we're really having fun on these Tuesday nights. We also have some other concerts throughout the week. But um, thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Please make those donations. And um, what do you guys have next for us, Mike? I can't get started. Mm. In Spain, oh, North Pole, I have charted. Still, I can't get started with you. On that golf course, I am under par. Metro Golden Mayor has <laughs> asked me to star. I got a house at a show place, <laughs> but I can't get no place with you. Cause you are so supreme. Lyrics I write of you Dream And a dream day and night of you And I scheme Just for one touch of you Baby, what, what, what can I do? I, I've been consulted by Donald T. Stormy Daniels has sat on my knee. I, I got a house and a show place, but I can't get no place with you.
because you are so supreme. Lyrics I write of you, and I scheme, and I scheme just for the sight of you, and I dream just for one touch of you. Baby, what can I do? <laughs> I have been consulted by Donald T. Stormy Daniels <laughs> sat on my knee. I've got a show place, but I can't get no place with you. I've tried, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried so hard, but I can't get no place with you. Can't get started. You know, uh, it's great to be playing with live people. Uh, the last time John Frimgen and I played together, we were on stage at Parker and uh, with Butch Miles, wow. Jazz Express. And we just got the word that day that uh, March 13th. Friday the 13th, March, Friday the 13th. And uh, we got the word that gigs were about to stop. And uh, I got the word I had to cancel a thousand confirmed dates from Boston to San Diego. They were confirmed through the month of May. And had to make every one of those calls one by one to tell them their life was over as they had known it. Uh, but they're coming back. It's coming back. But... Uh, you know who else used to sing that song? Tony. Tony. And uh, we're actually the John Blondell sextet tonight. Uh, you guys see the box back there? Uh, we've actually got a sextet with us. This is the remains of the remains of Tony Campisi. Uh, when, uh, when we got, uh, when we dealt with uh, Tony's cremation, uh, the first thing that comes back in is a, is a box, and I, I saw the, the letters there, the T and the C at the front, and I was, I said, wow, it's like, I can never throw that box away, that's, that's TC, mm -hmm. and then I showed it to John Mills, and I said, John, look at that box, check out the initials, and he goes, we're all in temporary containers. Yeah. So um, we're going to send this uh, next song out to uh, Tony. And uh, John always has a funny story uh, about Sandy Allen and Tony. You want to tell that story? Um, well, I, I'd have to swear. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know if the Austin Jazz Society wants me to curse on that, on that show. Uh, probably no cursing. Yeah. You sum it up, though. So Mike was recording at the Elephant Room, live at the Elephant Room, and, and Sandy Allen, who was Tony's sort of compatriot, um, wanted to play the song, Days of Wine and Roses, but Sandy always played it in 3-4 time. And Tony hated playing it in 3-4 time, and he never wanted to tell Sandy that, but he didn't want to be on record playing it in 3-4 time. So um, Tony lied and came on stage while the mics were hot and said, uh, yeah, we're going to do Days of Wine and Roses. And Sandy was about to start in three, in three, four time. And Tony said, we, we're not going to play in three. We're going to play in four. And, and Sandy's like, no, no, we're going to play in three. And they kind of went back and forth. And Tony said, Mike wants us to play in four, four. And, and there was a slight pause. And Sandy just looked at Tony and, and with the mics on and said, F Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so it's on tape somewhere. 
Yeah, we got that on tape. Uh, that's, a, that's a special moment. We're, that would be the uh, Live at the Elephant Room, uh, volume uh, two. two. Um, all right, so we're going to play this song now. And uh, I think it's more appropriate in the era of COVID. Uh, forget the flowers. This is just the days of wine.
As I said, uh, John Blondell has been uh, known to be a star maker, and Dr. Jim Rose is one of his protégés. But, uh, Doc, you got any medical advice for John? Well, you know, he's, uh, he's one of the most <laughs> compliant patients I've ever seen. <laughs> he's a typical Austin exerciser <laughs> and clean liver. Uh, it just has accidents all the time. It's not his fault. <laughs> Good advice, John. Uh, <laughs> watch us on television. Don't get up out of bed. <laughs> Amen. As you all know, if you weren't here earlier, John fell, hurt himself. He was on his way back from buying a trombone in Tyler. This is that trombone. Uh, so feel free. We have trombones on sale at Colin Shook's Piano and Trombone Emporium.
You know, in, in trying to emulate John Blondell, I was at the bar on that song. We tease John. We love John. Uh, we love all you people watching. I don't know who out there is watching, but uh, I know that uh, Extreme Heat guys were watching a little while ago. I got friends in California, I think, are watching and, uh, or were watching. And you never know. On these things, it's like you dial in and you go, oh, it's fantastic. Boom, gone, you know. It's like, uh, and then they show up later, and uh, then you can see them later. And I've, I've watched a lot of these shows, missing them on Tuesday, and then catch them later. Um, the safety net program, uh, once again, as, as Linda Miles just said it right off the bat, as soon as it, 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 we got the word, she said, we need to do something. We were at Parker Jazz Club. That's where the idea was born. Um, and uh, uh, Butch was like, yeah, we need to do something. Forrest Priest and Linda were there. And they said, yep, yeah, count us in. And next thing they do, they call Tom Van Tasso and Denny. Malloy and the guys on the Jazz Society board and the Jazz Society go, oh, it sounds like a lot of work. And Tom goes, well, we need to do it anyway, no matter how much work it is. And Colin says, I'll do it. I'll do it. I can do it. <laughs> so uh, Colin with Monks uh, is a group effort. It's, it was born at Parker. Uh, Monks picked it up. And uh, Parker, uh, uh, Chris Kimura just sold uh, some equipment to, uh, he bought new equipment. He got a loan. He's going to be in debt for a long time with that club. Uh, but uh, Parker will be back. Uh, I know Monks is looking for a home. Uh, Continental Club, I'm sure it's going to make it through that with the, uh, with the attic. Uh, or the, but with, not the attic, though. Gallery. gallery, yeah, the gallery. Uh, They'll make it through, and the elephant's going to make it through, and uh, the elephant will start a streaming show. We'll probably be tapping uh, Chris's knowledge, uh, Colin's knowledge, and Eric Doris's knowledge, and a lot of our friends, because I got no knowledge. Uh, but I'll share my first post here soon, a uh, little iMovie that we made. It's really, really, really bad with inanimate objects, and uh, I think it uh, kind of captures the spirit, though. All right, uh, we're going to ask Jim to sing this one, uh, one he sings at the jam all the time. Do you know what it means? Oh, let me play it. I don't know if I, I, let me play it. I don't, I don't know how it works with this one. He, say he plays it when he sings it. I just play a little. Oh, you just play this one. Play a little. All right, all right.
All right, once again, we uh, want to thank everybody. We want to thank the Austin Jazz Society. We want to thank all the people that uh, tune in this thing every week. We want to thank Colin Shook. We want to thank Monks. We want to thank Parker for getting the thing going. Uh, keep the faith. We'll be back. This is not our closer, but we're, this is the beginning of the bye-bye segment of our show with bye-bye Blackbird. Intro, maestro.
Once again, we have the joy of being together, alone together with you. Hope to see you out and about. Special get well to our friend John Blondell. And don't forget, Dr. James Polk will be celebrating his 80th birthday here. That is huge. That is huge. He started the caravan.